Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I've got here is a pair of wireless Bluetooth headphones that are suitable for running. They are the Q16s from Soundpeats. Look quite good. They retail, get the price right, they retail at £36.99 in the UK at the moment and $39.99 in the USA. Um, so essentially what it's got is it's got two separate earpieces and both have a 95 milliamp battery so you charge them separately which is quite unique and you can charge in one and a half hours and that will give you six hours of music and it has 10 meters uh, bluetooth range so here we've got a little carrying case and you know i'm a sucker for carrying case i love when you throw in things like that it's really good actually that's really nice solid i really like that that's cool I really like that. So we've got what have we got here. Got a little user manual. We've got a Are You Happy manual, warranty card type thing. Seems to, I think it's all in English. Yep. Seems straightforward enough. Let's see what's in the magical box. Okay, here we go. So each of these have got a 95 milliamp battery. And they look quite good. Yeah, I like I like I like the design of this. Uh, and you can tell that they are designed for running just with the you know the, the hoop that goes over your ears. So let's see what we've got in here. We've got a charging cable, and you can see that it's got two micro B there at the end to charge each one. So that will go into if I can get it open. Can I? Yeah, there's a little DCN part there. Yeah, so it would go in there to charge. And we have, which looks like, what have we got here? Four additional earbuds. So that's good as well. I like it. So we'll bring in a little bit closer. We'll see if we can get a closer look at these. So. There's a lot of buttons in here. This looks like rewind, play, pause, and forward. I'm not sure if that goes with the volume. I'll figure that out. You've got the charging point underneath there. If I can get it. So it looks like it's your controls here. And on the other side, we've got... It's the same, but it's in red. So I'll take a closer look at this. Connect it to my phone. And... We'll see what this is all about. But first impressions are these look pretty cool and they look quite comfortable. And hopefully if you get close to the six hours um running time, I mean that would that would do for a marathon, that's pretty good. You do obviously need your phone to use them though. So you'll need to keep your phone with you when you're running. So I'm gonna have a look at them now. Okay guys, so I've now got the, the earphones on. I've been using them for about twenty minutes or so and um just play some music. They sound okay. Um, you know, they're not going to compare to a proper pair of headphones, but um, they feel really, really comfortable in the ear. I'll just put my other headphones on. Um, now, if I bring you over to this camera just now, they feel really, really good in the ear. That, like, you know, they grip around the ear and they hold in place. Now, I've got a problem with my knee just now, so I can't go out running. It's something I need to go to the physio for. But these are the Philips running headphones that I used to use a lot when I was running. And kind of similar design. And they hold in tighter than these ones did. So I don't think there's going to be any problem when you're running with the, um, with these headphones. Sound quality is quite good. It goes, you know, not the loudest, not the, the richest, not the bassiest. They're not tinny though. You know, they're, they're okay. I did find that, you know, if it wasn't sitting correctly, if I just pushed it in a little bit further, then, you know, you could hear um, sounds a little bit better than you than you were before. Now, as far as connecting it all and all that, um, you can see I've, I've been charging it up using this cable. Now, this cable, without a doubt, is very, very flimsy. You can see there now, you just be careful with this because, you know, there's a good chance this could cut, uh, you know, just snap easily or break off easily. 
just be careful when you're using it. I mean, I'm sure you can buy dual USB chargers pretty easily. And if you can't, then, well, this is a standard micro, uh, micro B connection. You'll get these everywhere. And if it came to it, you could just charge it, um, you know, using two cables, if that's what you had to do. This little part here, I suspect, now you can see here, that's kind of fallen out already. I suspect over time that will fall out when you're running because you're, you know, you're running, you're throwing these things around. I, I suspect that will fall out, but I don't think that will be a problem. To be honest, I, I mean, if that wasn't, if that wasn't there, I don't, it wouldn't really bother me anyway. Um, there's a microphone there as well, so you can do hands-free calling through this. I've not tested that yet, um, but... I mean, it's not like you're not going to be using this for hours. If you're running, it's really just you're going to be taking a call and then telling someone you'll call them back later. So you've got the, here you've got the, you know, like the rewind forward. And it, it, it works as volume as well. Um, so it's the volume minus or previous track, depending whether you hold it in. And the other one is volume plus uh, or next track. Now, the, the one in the middle, they call the multifunction button. So here's how it works. You need to connect, obviously you need to connect these to your phone. And you can see I've got it connected to my phone here, um, Q16. Now, I actually had a little bit of trouble at first connecting this through headphones, but it was just because I wasn't uh, doing it correctly. What you need to do is hold the multifunction button down and then it powers on and you just keep holding it and then it'll say pairing. Then when it says pairing, it'll pop up in your phone click on it and it will connect. Now, here's the thing. This is the left one. The right one is the one with the red buttons and this is where it becomes apparent why they've got red colored buttons in one and not the other. This is the main device. Now, both of these have separate batteries, but this is the main device. So what happens is this, your phone, connects to the main one via Bluetooth and then this connects to the other one. So the left connects to the right and then the right connects to your phone. You can... If this one isn't uh, switched on, so the, the multi-function button acts as a power button as well. So if if it's not switched on, this one's not switched on, you'll just hear sound through this one. When the, the both of them are connected, you hear a message saying something like um, stereo initiated or something like that. Let's see if I'll turn that off just now. And um, it seems to work quite well. It seems to quite work, uh, work quite well. I found it a little bit fidgety at first as far as turning it off and things like that. I don't know if you can hear that. See, I can't. See. You can't hear that. They're saying a little message. Because I've not got the headphones on, you're not going to be able to hear that through the microphone. Um, but essentially what it does, you hold in the multifunction button, uh, button and it'll say power off. You hold it in again, it'll say power on. Keep holding it and then it'll say pairing mode and then it'll connect to your phone. There's a lot of instructions as well explaining what the flashing lights uh, are and if you run into any problems. Now, as far as the flashing lights go, um, this is really quite useful for the battery. If it flashes red, you've got a low battery, so that's when you need to charge. If it's solid blue, it's fully charged, and if it's red, it's charging. So I'll just put this in, give you an example. Now, you can see mine's just flashing blue and red, which means... Um, in pairing mode, so it's in pairing mode just now. I also noticed as well, uh, when I had it connected to my phone, I stopped playing music, and you kinda, you know the little silent buzz you hear from headphones sometimes when it connects through Bluetooth? That disappeared, and then as soon as I press play, it kinda came back, so it's kind of like effectively in like a standby mode when you're not using it. And if I put this in, this is how you would charge it, and you see the charging red light on. I haven't been out running with these, as I said, and you know I've just been using it in my house. I'm not hearing wind and things like that going back. But as someone who's used a kind of wired version of these before with my Philips ones, um, these ones here, um, it's an easy transition. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's an easy transition for me. I really like these. I mean, I think for half the battle with headphones, especially with running headphones, is how they sit in your ear, how they how they fit in. And, and with running headphones, you really need them to stay there and not come out unless you take them out. They seem really good. The audio seems not the best in the world. They seem okay though. And I just love the, you know, the idea of this being wirelessly and you don't have wires going anywhere. Uh, 
I would definitely recommend these. Um, time will tell how good the battery life is, but you know, for the money, I think if you're out there running, fidgety kind of buttons aside, you know, you're you're better doing. You can skip track and change music, change the volume through these buttons. You know, just hold it in or press it once for skipping it. Um, you know, that aside, I, I always find things like that when you have to reach reach up to your ear. I find that fidgety and annoying, but you know, you're always going to get that. And these seem pretty good. I'm quite impressed with them, if I'm honest. So, you know, impressions change when you've used something for a few months. But first impressions are these are pretty good. And, uh, you know, as it stands just now, I would recommend these. They're pretty cool. The wire's pretty uh, bad, but you get a total of six buds, you know, small, medium and large. And you get, where are you? You get a case as well. Ah, oh, we're sitting there. Um, the case is really good as well. So, you know, if you're going to the gym, throw them in here and everything stays nice. Really good to see that included. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will we'll leave some links to where you can purchase the Q16s. And if you get any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.